Unlike the first round of CPAP, nearly all commodities are eligible for some type of relief payment under CPAP 2 to partially cover COVID-related costs. However, there are three different methods for how a payment is calculated, depending on which commodities a farmer applies for. This video will break down how payments are determined depending on the commodity. We encourage you to go to USDA's CFAP2 website to download their payment calculator. The calculator is the best way for farmers to determine exactly how much they would receive for various eligible commodities. The first method of payment calculation is called price trigger. Price trigger commodities have payment rates that are proportional to COVID-related price declines of each specific crop. Eligible price trigger crops include commodity row crops, most livestock, poultry, eggs, and dairy. However, contract poultry and hog farmers are not eligible for CFAP2. To determine the total payment, farmers report their total 2020 eligible acres, 2019 broiler egg production, or the milk production or maximum livestock inventory between April and August of 2020. One downside of price trigger payments is that they don't take into consideration any premium pricing or value-added commodities. For example, if you are an organic dairy farmer, your payment rate will still be based on conventional wholesale commodity prices, even if your milk commands a much higher price. The second payment method is flat rate. Commodities that fall under this category are those that may lack sufficient data to demonstrate a decline in price, like those listed under price trigger. This includes crops like hemp, alfalfa, small grains, and peanuts. Payments for flat rate crops will be equal to the number of eligible acres of the crop multiplied by a rate of $15 per acre. The last payment calculation method is called sales commodity. This is an important new component of CFAP2 as the payments are based on a farmer's sales history. This may make CFAP2 more accessible for farmers who produce a wide variety of crops as the payment is based on total sales and not the production amounts of each individual commodity. Eligible commodities in this category include specialty crops, floor culture and nursery, aquaculture, and other livestock not listed under price trigger. Payments are calculated based on eligible 2019 sales multiplied by payment rates shown here. It should be noted that farmers can only report sales based on the raw commodity, not a value-added product. For example, if you grow tomatoes that you then process and sell as salsa, you may only report the portion of sales that is reasonably considered to be derived from the tomatoes alone and not the end value-added product. Across all three payment methods, farmers are asked to self-certify their production or sales amounts. Check out our next videos for more information on the application process and the required documentation. We also show several real-world examples of how much you could receive through CFAP2 using different commodities as case studies. To get a real sense of how much your CFAP2 payment might be, go to the USDA's website, farmers.gov CFAP to download the payment calculator. And if you need extra help determining how much of a payment you could receive through CFAP2, or need assistance with your application, we encourage you to call the RAFI USA hotline toll-free at 866-586-6746.